Hey y'all, welcome to Storytime. My name is Selena and I am the children's librarian here at the Wichita Falls Public Library. And today's story is How to Be Friends with a Dragon by Valerie Gorbachev. How to Be Friends with a Dragon by Valerie Gorbachev. Simon loved dragons. He loved dragon toys. And he loved books about dragons and drawing dragons. And in fact, he loved everything about dragons. Do you wanna know a secret? Simon asked his sister, Emma. Sure, said Emma. I want to make friends with a dragon, said Simon. Well, said Emma, if you want to make friends with a dragon, you must remember the rules. If you ever meet a dragon, don't show that you are scared of him. Okay, said Simon. Well, I won't be scared. And don't try to scare him, said Emma. Oh, okay, Simon said. I won't. And you should try to be nice to the dragon, Emma said. Then maybe he'll invite you to his castle. I will give him a bunch of flowers, said Simon. You know you'll be the dragon's guest, so you better behave yourself, said Emma. Don't swing on the dragon's tail and don't hop on the stairs. I got it, I got it, said Simon. And when the dragon shows you pictures of his ancestors, don't say they look frightening, said Emma. Of course I won't, cried Simon. I love pictures of dragons. And don't act surprised when the dragon fries a few eggs in his mouth. After all, dragons can breathe fire, said Emma. Okay, said Simon. And don't forget to say thank you for lunch, said Emma. I won't forget, said Simon. After lunch, when the dragon takes a nap, you really shouldn't try to wake him up by putting a stick in his nose, said Emma. Why not, said Simon. Don't you think he'd like a little joke? <gasps> Is he poking his nose with a stick? Oh no. It's not a good idea to play jokes on a dragon. Dragons don't just breathe fire, said Emma. They sneeze fire. Oh. I understand, said Simon. See, if he tickles his nose with a stick, what's gonna happen? Ah, 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 chew, and all of that fire. After his nap, if the dragon takes you flying on his back, don't forget to wear your seatbelt, said Emma. Okay, said Simon, I won't forget. You see, he's got his little seatbelt on. And don't even think about bringing that dragon to school to introduce to your friends, Emma said. That's too bad because I'm sure they would love to meet him. But okay, said Simon, I won't. I'll just play with the dragon in my room all by myself. I'm sure he'll love my toys. Oh no, said Emma. And don't you dare bring that dragon into our house. He's way too big to get into your room. But I really want the dragon to say good night to me. I'm sure he will, said Emma, if you follow all of the rules. Okay, said Simon, I promise. At least, I'll try. And 
look who's hanging off his little wing in the back. That was How to Be Friends with a Dragon by Valerie Gorbachev.